What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on chrisandshechris.com slash they're awesome. And <laughs> that's not going to make any, less, any sense unless you guys were actually watching the stream during that moment, so that's awkward. Uh, I don't know what to take in this pack. There's a Demonic Tutor. There's a Lotus Petal. I don't care about that. I don't know why I said it. I'm actually just excited about that that gesture from Nifty Chris and She Chris. That was awesome. Those are my favorite people ever. I'm going to take Demonic Tutor, I imagine. And uh, it's probably, that's probably the, the easiest. D, 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 D Shamblin, I'm not sure if you're pickable, but I'd, I'd pick you if you were in this pack, buddy. I'll give, I'll give that to you. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, the one time you're streaming good for my time zone, I have to sit in an exam. Hopefully you're still here when I... Sethos, I'll, I'll wait for you, buddy. I'll wait for you. It's probably just Mana Vault, right? I like a Mana Vault. I like a Mana Volterino. Man, Nifty Chris and She Chris, you guys are amazing. You're my favorite two Chris's that have ever lived. I mean, if you're going to fly across the country, there's any more than Chris and I can toss you 50. That's fair, I guess. That's fair. But <laughs> nevertheless, I mean, it's not like I didn't have a great time, so. If you know what I mean, no one knows what I mean because it was very, it was pretty obvious. I just had fun when we were there. So, no love for Chris Pratt. Oh, uh, Chris Pratt is cool, but he doesn't compare to my Chris's. Those are my Chris's. How, how dare Chris Pratt try to compete? I don't know what's going on right now. This, that was just such a cool gesture. You guys are amazing. We did have. Oh man, those crepes were amazing. I like that at the beginning of those crepes. Me and me and Chris were like. I don't know. We're a little suspicious. And then as the crepes started coming, we were like, all right, these are pretty epic. They just got better and better. Uh, I think it's, I think it goes Chris Pratt, Chris Evans, and then Chris, I think Chris Pine is third on my list of three leading man Chris's. I like Worm Coil. Just say I like the tiny pancakes. Is Ashiok insane? I like Ashiok a lot. We haven't actually drafted an Ashiok yet. Let's draft Ashiok and see what happens. Ooh, Emrakul the Promised End. And a Vindicate and a Metamorph. It's probably just Metamorph, right? Yeah, we're going to take the Metamorph here. Kozilek? This is a late Crater Hoof Behemoth. Are we talking about Ashiok's power level or Ashiok's uh, mental mental stability? It's probably just Bone Shredder here. It could be Impulse. Impulse is pretty good. Impulse is kind of like a baby demonic tutor, right? It's not really, but it's kind of like that, but not really. I don't think we're taking Hoof. This is not a hook, Hoof deck yet, unfortunately. Not like it's going to be, but it's one of these two. I think it's actually probably Bone Shredder. Bone Shredder just kills everything. <laughs> Spazio is literally just naming Eldrazi. Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk is nice. We can actually build around this guy. My biggest issue with Torrential Gear Hulk is that there are there are much. It, when you have a card like Snapcaster, you're able to pick both sorceries and uh, instants, which uh, I mean it's it goes without saying, but it doubles the amount of targets. Whereas Torrential Gear Hulk, you're just like, okay, just half the targets. But I think that could still be good if we build around it a little bit. Also, it's a 5-6, which is pretty strong. And a Nicobolus. That's pretty sweet. We're probably just taking that. Oh, uh, I don't think you can cast Torrential Girl in a Mind's Desire because that is a sorcery. And I literally just got done explaining how you do not get to pick sorceries with that card. However, I understand I'm going to take this Hypnotic Spectre, because I actually think Hypnotic Spectre is really, really good in this format. Where, Well, not in this form, but it, in cubes in general, because you can actually just go Dark Ritual into Hypnotic Spectre into start randomly discarding your best cards. Are we just four-color black? <laughs> I just want to take this Vraska, to be quite honest. And then we'll just take all the Signets in the next pack, like there's going to be a million. Vraska is very, very strong. Um, I'm going to take the Vraska. I'm not going to take the... Eh, Necrotal's not terrible. I was going to say I'm not going to take the... Um, the Ojitai because... I think we're heavier black than blue. 
Eh, whatever. Necrotol is fine. Not excited about it, but it is what it is. Oh, the old, the old. Oh, well, if you can't torrential into Mind's Desire, might as well at least torrential into Damnation. What problem is? Oh, vindicate. All right, so I guess we are just four. <laughs> Doomsday 1981. That sounds awesome. Let's do that. Um, I we can probably do that tomorrow. I bet. Me and Mike can do the blind alternating stipulation. That is a late vindicate. All right, so now we literally are black with splashing white, green, and red. That seems good, right? Torrential and Nicol Bolas? Yeah, I can do that. And the sword came back. I like all the cards in our deck. I don't know if our deck is good, per se. All right. Let's... Oh, Flame Tongue Kavu. That's a dude. Manglehorn might be better, actually. Yeah, I like Manglehorn better. We already have ways to deal with uh, creatures. We have Necrotal and Bone Shredder, so Manglehorn's probably better here. One nine eight one stip. What do we got? Mind Twist is pretty epic. Um, probably the most epic card in this pack, I would imagine. What's your favorite English word? Oh, that's a good question. Um, let me think about that. That's a good question. All right, so I'm actually gonna make sure I get. I want to make sure I don't miss any of these steps because you guys are actually providing a bunch of steps right now. So, these are all good. Okay. Yeah, Mind Twist seems pretty epic. And Jace the Mind Sculptor. Well, 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 Mr. Jace. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Rakdos's return. That's just a mind twist for suckers. We can have Ugin and Nicobolus in the same deck. There's a Kiki Jiki and a Pestermite in the same pack. That's kind of funny to me. Um, all right, so we have two green, two green cards, one white card, one red card. We could be Sultai splashing Bolas. That is actually pretty accurate. Went from watching your most recent YouTube video to watching your stream. I'm okay with this. This is a fair transition. It's probably Ugin, right? Ugin is the strongest card in this pack. I think we just want some ramp here so we can do degenerate things like all of these things. See, realistically, if you look at the deck now, we have zero targets for Torrential Gear Hulk, which is kind of sad. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Boros Signa is actually decent because it lets us cast both Vindicate and Nicol Bolas. The only step I want is that this streamer's drink must always be invisible. Wow, that's a good one, though. I think we can make that one happen. That seems pretty easy, all things considered. I think we want Boros Signa just because it helps us cast these guys, too. I do like Hero's Downfall a lot, but I don't think it's... Like, we already have uh, Vindicate. Uh, you cannot Vindicate off Gear Hulk. It's a sorcery. <laughs> okay. Still can't still can't cast sorceries off Gear Hulk. Even now. It's probably Dark Slick Shores here. Marsh Flat actually gets us a bunch of colors here. Uh, I think it's actually Marsh Flats. It gets, at the very least, it gets us the One Plains... Um, but if we get any fetch lands, any dual lands, it actually makes us, gets much stronger. So, we'll take that. That is a late Jitte. Can you cast Gearhulk of, of sorceries? For I will co, I expect better from you, buddy. <laughs> oh, command Torrential Gearhulk. You still can't cast sorceries off of Torrential Gearhulk. This is six creatures, but like... Jitte is so strong. Oh, God. I would rather take the Jitte than the go for the throw, just to have it. Just to have it. Packrat's pretty good. So is Sylvan Library. Packrat's a real thing. And it gives you something to do with these cards that you can't cast in the early game. I'm going to take the Packrat. This card just wins games. In cube. This is, this is weird... Like, there's a lot of strategies going around lately. Like, Buried Alive is still here. Terminate's still solid. Yeah, Deck and Stone. Good with Gearhulk. 
Hey, Saru, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much. I, don't, I want to terminate, but I don't really want another black card. Or another red card, rather. Another black card. I don't want more black cards in my black deck. It's still probably the best card in this pack. Oh, Misty Rainforest is good for us. Also, ooh, Unburial Ice Elesh Norn is pretty sweet. I want to take the Misty because our deck really needs it. Eliza. <laughs> oh, that is... Oh, Botanical Sanctum. That's pretty reasonable. We could also take the Hostage Taker. Also pretty reasonable. Let's just steal things like Moxon. Yeah, I'm going to take the Hostage Taker here. I like that a lot. I don't think Sanctum is that great for us. Uh, Gush is probably... I'm going to take the Face Fetters. I don't foresee us playing Gush in a deck where we want to actually bring back our creatures. Elspeth is great. Living Death is good. I don't think the Living Death... I don't see us playing Double White Card. Mystic Snake. I can actually see us playing Mystic Snake, maybe. Olivia's good. Man, we have... This is like the best four-color green deck ever if you uh, take into account we don't have any good fixing. You're probably on the sidelines. Double Blue is not where we want to be. Elspeth, Liliana... Uh... Meh. It might just be Baleful Strix. It digs us one deeper. Um, Oath of Nyssa is reasonable because it lets us cast Vraska easily. But if we're able to cast Oath of Nyssa, we already have the green for Vraska. Um, and theoretically, we should have pretty easy blue for, for Ashiok or for Nicol Bolas. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take... Actually, I... Baleful Strix seems real good. It's definitely not Lily. Wandering Fumarole is nice because it's a red source uh, for Nicol Bolas. We have no, we have six creatures in our deck, none of which are great in the graveyard. I don't know why we'd take the Liliana here. I like Strix a lot, but I also just like the fixing at this point. Oh, Control Magic is a spicy meatball. So is Scalding Tarn. So is Tinker. I think it's actually just Scalding Tarn here. Actually, it's probably Control Magic. Control Magic's super strong here. And we're also missing like three playables. Like being able to steal an Eldrazi with, with Control Magic is just where you want to be, I think. But I guess... How rare is that? Like, that's not going to come up super often. But you can also steal, like, Baneslayer Angels or, or Dragonlord Ojatai's. I'm going to take the Control Magic. Grim Monolith seems good. Mana Confluence also doesn't seem terrible, actually. We, do we have any life gain in our deck? I don't think so. Torrential Gohok still seems pretty bad. <laughs> like, we actually have zero targets for it, correct? Yeah, literal. Well, one terminate is literally our only our only torrential gear hulk target. This is why I really don't like torrential gear hulk that much, in this cube specifically. I want to take the grim monolith. Steam vents is actually fantastic for this deck. I'm going to take a steam vents. We can also get it with a misty rainforest, which is nice. I don't see anything else in this pack that I'm really too drawn to. Um, bird of paradise. We're not heavy green. Hissing Quagmire is nice because it is a black source that can cast a Manglehorn or a Vraska. Colagon's Command is good. Land Tax lets us get that land, but it also implies that we're going to have white really, really early. And I don't think that's the case. It's either one of these two. I feel like it's this one. I feel like it's this in Quagmire just because Colagon's Command is great, but we have a lot of effects like that, and I'm more concerned with actually casting our spells at this point. Temple Garden can be found by Misty and by Marsh Flats, which is super nice. I also, I think I want to take that. We do need two more playables, but we have a Mystic Snake in the sideboard so far. 
this deck looks sweet. Like it's all of our our whole deck is black blue, and we're splashing like Manglehorn, uh, Vraska, Nicobolus, and Terminate. So it's actually pretty reasonable if you look at it like that. Oh boy, <laughs> Mystic Confluence, yes please. That's actually super sweet here. I like Warren Power Stone too. We have Grimonolith and Mana Vault, so I'm not too concerned with it. Two birdies to paradise, baby. Pack your bags, we'll leave tonight. Boom, boom, boom. Bada boom, boom, boom. Happy birthday to the legendary Frank. He has a radiant smile and some bits in the bank. We follow the Frank to death with no fear, and now he's older and wiser by a whole year. So we're all benched, throwing biddies and advice. And in celebration of Frank, is that not nice? So let's cube it up and give it a whirl. And Dominaire, I hope you open the angel girl. Enjoy your birthday and never be mean. Oh, and by the way, you should check your stream. Peace and grats. What a... <laughs> God. Zaxor, you are a treasure, my friend. You are an absolute treasure. Is it Raging Ravine? Maelstrom Pulse. It's probably Raging Ravine. We can just we'll take like all of these. We'll take all these lands, but then like everything we don't have here is just going to be literal swamps and islands. Uh, Oath of Ness is actually not terrible because we do have Jace, which is double blue. It's gotten better, maybe, but maybe not. Might still be the best pick here. Whatever. Exum. Aceru, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate some birthday bits from my favorite streamer. Appreciate it, buddy. You know, my friend son has to go to bed. Can you sing him a lullaby to get him settled? You better tuck yourself in before Nicobolus comes to get you. He doesn't like kids who don't go to sleep. So go to close your eyes and he won't ultimate on your face. Uh, I'm probably not the best of lullabies. Uh, Exum is probably not getting played. Revoker seems fine. There is a land tax here. We did it. We did it! This is not a Dark Confidant deck. Uh, I'm still going to take the land tax just in case. Ah, Thrun's not terrible. If you If you like that kind of double green thing. Oh, Braids and a Huntmaster of Zifels. Alright, this is fine. Send you a message on Twitch. Wink! Oh, man. The classic Nicobolus Claws lullaby. <laughs> Nicobolus Claws. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, boy. Good times, good times. Um, actually, maybe Torrential Girl makes the cut now. We have What do we have? Mystic Confluence. Uh, and terminate, and that's it. Alright, so we got one extra card. One extra target. I mean, Mystic Confluence is a really good target, to be fair. We only have seven creatures. Vraska makes creatures, so she's kind of like eight creatures. Um, Control Magic steals, guys, so that's like nine creatures. Metamorph can go here. It might just be Mystic Snake. I actually like Mystic Snake too, especially because we're base blue. I'm going to add all of these. I wish we got one blue black land to search for. But one, two, three, four. We actually don't need any green sources. No to you, no to you. No white sources either. I don't think one, two, three. Three white sources, and we have one white card. 
That seems fine. We also have Boris Signet. One, two, three. Misty can get Steam Vents. So one, two, three, four, five red sources for two red cards. That also seems fine. How many black sources? Marsh Flats can get a Swamp. One, two, two, three, four. So this is eight black sources. Three, four, five, six, seven. So this is ten. This is ten. That seems pretty good, right? One, two. Can Misty get any black sources? No. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight black sources. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue sources. All right. We did it. I don't know if this deck is good, but it seems like it's got a lot of powerful cards. I think if we can cast these spells, we're in great shape, right? Right, guys? <laughs> right, geese? I don't know. I just... I just put the cards in the deck and then see how it happens. Famous last words. This pack does... This, this deck does have a lot of my favorites. It's got Mystic Snake. It's got Nicol Bolas. Can we just win off of this pack, Rat? Probably. Probably. How are we casting Vindicate? I mean, the same the same way we're casting other cards in our deck. With white sources and black sources. I'll keep this hand. Because we have Pack Rat. Aren't you worried Bullets is just an expensive do-nothing card? Never. I've never been worried about it. Didn't we, uh... I feel like this is an old meme that we're going over right now. You didn't see the white sources? We, I mean, we have Marsh Flats. We have Temple Garden. Uh, we have Boros Charm. So that's at least three white sources for one white card, which seems pretty fine. I'm not sure if we had another land or not, but at least three, so... Uh, I think the new Bullets is actually awesome. I actually like the new Bullets a lot. I mean, at worst, it's a 4-4 flyer for 4 that makes them discard a card, right? Where did... Did they not exile a card? Do they only have artifacts and lands in hand? I don't think they exiled a card for that. That is interesting to me. Hey, it's me. I live where there's no cell service. Reference. Frank loves Gutshot. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see. I was actually wondering where you went. Hope you've been doing good, Luke. All right. All right. Manglehorn. Swamplehorn. So I don't think we can actually get a blue source with Marsh Flats. We don't have a blue-white or a black-white land. I also don't think we can get a red source, which is sad. So I'm pretty sure we actually just make a rat here. We can get a Temple Garden, which is cool, because it lets us cast the white card, but... Yep. Let's just get her done. Pack rats going for love. What the fuck does that mean? Pack rats just need a little love. Little pack rat love. Should we block and trade? That's not how first strike works. <laughs> oh, you guys are ridiculous. Oh man, artifact.deck over here. Metalcraft online. Okay, we're just going to keep playing lands and keep making rats. I play it a lands, I make it a rats. Let's find out if we have a blue source. If we don't have if we have a blue source. Okay, just a temple garden. Okay. 
This is a lot of rats. It's 4.30 here. Can we keep Frank in check? Chat, great age. Comes with great confusion to take. Zach Sar, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Always a pleasure. They voted for homage. I'll vote for homage. I think my rats are stronger than your extra cards, so. You know. They have five cards and five mana. It's not terribly afraid. Frightening? Terrible, terribly frightening is what I meant to say. You're a pleasure. You how dare you? How don't don't threaten me with a good time. Deck in stone from the blue black deck? Um suspicious, my friend. Grave Titan? Noxious Gear Hulk. Well, that's problematic. Give me a land that can do a thing. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, it doesn't do what we want it to do right this second. Next turn, we can Vraska and kill the Gear Hulk, which is nice. I don't want to lose a rat here, just to deal three extra damage. Homage again? Alright, we'll keep saying homage. I don't want to attack with Quagmire, because next time I want to play Vraska. Spazio, sometimes I think you just say things just because you can, not because they actually make sense. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They have 9 total mana. Boy, that's pretty good. Alright, well. Yep, that's pretty okay. Can I draw my own one of these? Because that would be cool. So I'm going to make a pack rat and double block this Gear Hulk. And then I'm going to play Vraska and kill the other Gear Hulk. But that makes me really susceptible to... This porcelain legionnaire, unfortunately. Sending biddies on my way to bed. What a time to be alive. <laughs> I confirm. Concur? I concur. That is a heck of a time to be alive, good sir. Um, that was that was poetry. Five, six, seven, eight. I didn't think I didn't realize they were this low in life. That's really sad. Um Yeah, we can't cast Jace yet. Um, but Jace can actually get us back into the game. Is it Vraska? It's not Vraska. We're going to untap play Vraska. Kill the other one. Vraska does die, but that's pretty bad. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Um, it's got to be Jace, unfortunately. God, that feels so bad. We're going to draw, like, Mana Vault or something, and it's going to feel terrible. Man, this race was very, very good. Treasure gets me blue, but I don't have time to go Vraska Treasure next turn. One, two, three, four, six. Actually, that's pretty good. Quagmire does get Death Touch. That is correct. So now they probably go at Vraska here. And then we can actually go Nickel Bolas if we hit a land next turn. That would be pretty sweet. Can you donate for a step in bits? Yeah, if you want to. Definitely. I won't, I won't stop you. That seems like a lot of bits, though. Yep, that is what we thought would happen. You have 5,000 cards in your hand. Oh god. Sundering Titan. Torrential Gear Hulk into nothing. Just a Mind Slaver? It's gotta be Mind Slaver. Mirror Battle Ball. Sounds good. Land. Okay, that's reasonable. 
one, two, three, four. One, two, yeah. All right, so cool. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Copy this, bro. And I guess we can wait because they clearly don't have a. I don't want to wait. For our life to be over, I want to know right now. Who will it be? Are we on an homage? Still homaging, huh? Okay. I sent that step email when you have a time. Would you mind taking a look and letting me know? Yeah, definitely. Yes, definitely. Excellent. Force Nia colors. You can only splash other colors for power. That seems totally awesome. Let's do that. Rare Chemex. Let me write that down. Man, these steps are... They're coming in very quickly. We're going to have to do these... I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six steps in the queue right now. You guys, they've, been, they've all been pretty sweet, though, so I actually don't really mind them. Repeal. That's actually pretty good for us. I'm actually very okay with that, because now we just get to replay it and do a thing. Um, we're going to go block, block, block. We take one here? Yeah, we got plenty of answers. I like course of portal. With Phyrexian Metamorph, that is. That's what I'm saying. Land. Old Nicky B. I think we'll also go to, th I think we just have to take the Legionnaire here. We can also destroy their course of portal, which is nice. Angle goes to eight, takes four, kills this thing. Yeah, that's fine. I just want to get rid of their stupid course of portal. You are once again narrating my evening walk. Ah, he stepped out into the brisk June air tonight, surrounded by trees and a babbling brook to his east. All right, we're going to two here. Hope you don't kill us. Do not kill me. That's where they go, Mind Slaver. <laughs> Metal Worker. Okay. Okay. Let's steal this guy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Actually, we can copy something and keep hissing Quagmire up. That seems good. Steal you. Man. It is Florida and it's hot as hell. I'm real tempted to just copy the Porcelain Legionnaire. Like, it, sound, it seems bad, but, like... I mean... We're at two, so... Kind of seems like a thing to do. We also have Hissing Quagmire. Pay two life, yeah. Solid. Solid choice. What could possibly go wrong? Exodus MTG, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, well, that's good. If they just keep playing these lands, I'm okay with that. Last turn, the best they had was Metalworker. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to assume you didn't need the tenth actual mana. But maybe that's... Oh, if we get to untap here, we are in good shape. Let's 
So next turn we can actually activate Nicol Bolas. Some players discard seven cards, sacrifice seven permanents. Sure, seems good. So we have two blockers here. Might as well get in there for six and try to close this game out. <clears throat> Thank you for being a friend traveling down the road and backing in. <laughs> You're a pal and a confidant. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. We have what? Oh, this game went. This game went crazy. I am surprised that game went the way it did. I thought we were dead. Frexian and Roker actually seems good against that deck. We have Metalworker, uh, Worn Power Stone. So for white sources, we have Marsh Flats, Misty Rainforest, Temple Garden, and Boros Signet. So we have three. We have four sources of white. That's pretty cool. Are you winning yet, son? We won a game, Dad. We won a game. Yes, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. The sad song says so much. Um, Frank, what state do you live in? If you, I live in Florida. It is hot. Hot. It's hot. Uh, I don't mind face fetters. But I think we're just going to submit like this. I don't think we're in... I think our deck is good. Consistent? I don't know. Good? I think so. I'm going to keep this and maybe search for like... Uh, we can go turn to like Mana Crypt or Mana Vault and then Mind Twist them for like a lot. That seems fun. We could also just get a... Uh, where the where the people who drafted with you against drafting good cards? Um, I mean, yes, I think so. <laughs> I imagine they were. I kind of just want to get a blue source here because we have two double blue cards in hand. <clears throat> Is that greedy? I don't know. I saw a video around the hours from Atlanta. I live in SC. It was like, oh man, is OP man? <laughs> when I say it's like a state bird almost. <laughs> uh, no, I'm in the opposite direction, unfortunately. Aren't mind twisting and mind sculpting the same thing? Doesn't Jace just mind twist every day? He does actually. Be mind twisting all day. Five birthday bucks. I can't catch this very much, but I love watching the wheels. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Birthday bucks. I will accept. I want a demonic tutor here. A lot of times you want to save cards like demonic tutor uh, until you know what you're looking for specifically. However, our hand pretty much has a lot of things that, like. Control Magic, Jace, Mind Twist, and Necrotal all take care of things. So it might just be better here to make sure we can cast our spells reliably. Uh, which might mean getting something like a Wandering Fumeral. Which I think is fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's it's a really weird choice, but I mean, it makes sure we can Mind Twist. We're, we're one, one blue closer to Control Magic and Jace and... Uh, Ultimately, I think if we're able to play our spells, we're probably going to do better. That's pretty good for next turn. Does MCU ever do an actual pool of drafters that play? Show? Yeah, you can do non non leagues, definitely. Oh, lodestone golem. Well, that's a problem. That's a more like a lodestone problem. Am I right? Of course, you're right. And a sad song says so much. I'm probably just going to this guy that, just so we can have a blocker and we can just take it out. It's going to be rough on our, our other spells, but I presume they don't have anything super cheap or else they would have played it, right? Mind Twist is not an okay card. Man... Anything above thirty six, any, everything, anything above being uh, above eighty six Fahrenheit being considered very hot. That is that is a climate I'm okay with. Let's block. Oh, they didn't want to do it. 
Don't say you're not going to do it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, no, boy. Land. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's very good. Now we're actually incentivized to attack. That was a great draw. Holy snogans. Guy that plays bass. 100 happy birthday bits. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. No, that's sad. Um, Yeah, we'll just pass here. Thank you, thank you. But then it goes negative 36 Celsius winter. So that's... I guess that is a fair... Uh, ugh. Ooh, gross. Misha's workshop is either like the best card in your deck or the worst card in your deck, depending on when you draw it. Well, that's pretty good, but we'll still block. The best part about uh, Umazawa's Jitte is that if we connect, I'm still getting the effect. If if you connect with Sword, you are not getting the effect. If we get a land, we can actually play Ashiok and then just keep up Ashiok. Well, now we're just going to play Jitte here. You gonna counter this? Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy, isn't that a thing? Well, that's a... That is just gross. I really don't want you to actually attack with the sword, so we're not going to attack here. Birthday dinner was good. Had a good time. Always good seeing the parents. Yeah, three minute instant speed ancestral recall. Still very good. It's uh, it's a still it's still muy bueno. But a sad song says so much. Metalworker. Equipped your sword. Okay, so if you have a two mana removal spell, you can cast it. Oh god. Oh boy. Really? I would have probably copied the Jitte. Have they never cast a Jitte before? Good lord. We actually take Necrotal out. Thank you. Oh wow, that's a great draw, but Blaze, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Or or regular sub. I don't know if there's a resub or not. Um, this costs six mana, right? Yep, that's what I thought. All right, double lodestone golem is getting getting a little gross here. Oh boy, uh, we can mind twist them for two, which is probably better than doing nothing. And I really don't think it's going to get any. Actually, we can do it for one. Oh, that's gross. I don't know if that's actually worth it. Yeah, we're going to just get rid of the Necrotal here. This is rough. I mean, if they actually put the sword on the other on the golem and then attack, I'm still just going to kill both golems. Yeah, that seems great for us. I want to block and then neg neg. That's old neg neg. <laughs> All right, block a ruski. Give me my, give me me counters. Gonna get lit with some mono red? Probably not. I mean, it's my birthday, so I'm probably gonna not play my least favorite archetype and color combination. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, mono red's pretty okay in the cube. I have a good time. Oh, Porcelain Legionnaire. You got it. You got it. This is this makes it so they can't actually move the swords this turn. Uh, so we'll just go to the end step. Counter from Umazawa's Jitte. Kill this guy. 
Kapow. Kapow. All right. Grim Monolith. That's a thing. One, two, three, four, five. That gives us five mana. Huh. I almost feel like it's Mind Twist for two, but giving them double sword triggers is pretty bad. I actually think it's Hostage Taker steal the Sword of Feast and Famine that is the Phyrexian Metamorph, and then we can just cast it as a Metamorph. That seems good. All right, I don't feel like we're in great shape here because we've missed uh, four land drops, which is pretty brutal, especially considering there was two Lodestone Golems on the board for Millionaires. Why no Monolith? Because it just, I mean, that doesn't do anything for us. We play Monolith for two and then we have nothing on board. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. I will not block this guy, unfortunately. I'm probably going to discard Mystic Snake at this point. They have one card in hand, so... Not terrifying, but also not great. Wow. Last card was the Abyss. I think we're dead. <laughs> yep, we're just going to go to the next game. This was pretty stupid. Not being able to draw lands for literally six turns is pretty brutal. Um, yep, taking Necrotal out because you're pretty terrible. Uh, face Fetters might be good. Doesn't seem like they have much removal. Kite Sail Freebooter might be good. We even demonic tutored for a land. Yeah, pretty pretty kind of funny. Pretty kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, Mind Twist could have been the play. It's it's easy to say that uh, in hindsight. However, if we Mind Twist, they equipped both Swords of Feast and Famine to their creature. They attack for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We discard two cards, and they still untap all their lands to play whatever they drew that turn. Um, so I don't know if that's correct. Doesn't seem great. I think it might just be face fetters. It's awkward because it's white, but we have four sources of white. Four is a good amount of white sources for two white cards. Look, a white source. I'll keep this hand. Is this some sort of clone steel stip deck? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish. Um, I think we can just go wander from roll into Grim Monolith. That seems fine. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, we don't know if they drew the Abyss, if they drew Tezzeret, or or which which of the three cards they drew. Because they had two cards in hand, and they drew one. So we don't actually know which one they drew. Swamp. Black Source. Metamorph? Okay. Axel, I don't actually know, buddy. At least one more after this. All right. Um, <laughs> I kind of just want to keep that up, counter whatever they do. Realistically, the only thing we're missing out on playing is Mana Vault, so I'm actually okay with that. You should do a 25-hour stream. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. 
And then I could die from, you know, lack of sleep. That's not how that works at all. We missing a land drop here? Oh, you're just going to do that. All right, that's fine. Counter it. Actually, it's going to be tapped. This is just better in our hand at that point. Whatever, that's actually fine. Land so we can cast Mana Vault. Mystic Snake, sure. Well, that was unfortunate. Lodestone Golem, I bet. Metalworker's actually okay. That's a reasonable... Can I get a land? Hey! Hey, man! Guy that plays bass, thanks so much for another another 100 bits, really appreciate it. Can you pick up and play Shardless Agent in the next deck? It fits in, please. Yeah, if we if we can get a, we can do that. I can see that. Freedom Cover, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So we can't, we can actually terminate this, this little idiot. The funny thing is Metamorph is actually, copying Metalworker is actually pretty decent for us. You can call me Guy. I like that. Hey, Guy. Hey, Guy. Um, we could also just play Ashiok here. Seems pretty good on their board. We have Terminate if they play anything big. We have Metamorph if they also play anything big. Yeah, we're just going to Ashiok here. Lodestone Golem and Ancestral Recall. Hooray! Everybody win. I mean, I think I'd sooner make a Metal Worker than a Grim Monolith. Metal Worker makes at least four mana right now, so. If we get another green source, then we have... Uh, by another, I mean a green source. We get to Mystic Snake, which is pretty sweet. Four cards enter the real zone. Holy smokes. Sword, Legionnaire, Simulacrum, Battle Spear. Eight, nine, ten, they have twelve mana. Jesus. And a Vendillion click. Fantastic. So your hand is literally four artifacts, Vendillion click. Seems good. Seems good. Why am I have to yes, sure. Hand is great, but so they still have nine mana. They can go Battle Sphere, Porcelain Legionnaire. It seems fine. Yep. Yep. Jitte seems good. Yep. Well, we got that green source we were looking for. Got a metamorph. Second metamorph. That's pretty good. Pretty sure we have the bone short of the Vendilia click. We can block the battle sphere. We don't have a second black source. I mean, it literally says it's my birthday in the stream title, right? Birthday vintage cube drafts it literally says it. You guys don't. You guys don't know how reading works. Um. So now you have sort of body and mind, Psalm simulacrum, and porcelain legionnaire. Okay. Cool. 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 Four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana next turn.
interestingly enough, we can actually play Mana Vault. Uh, we know their whole hand. So we can actually play Bone Shredder, play Mana Vault, activate Grim Monolith and Mana Vault, and play Umazawa's Jitte. <laughs> and equip it. I don't know if that's good or not, though. Like, both of those would be tapped, but next turn we can terminate something. Um, I don't think Ashiok is surviving. Three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we can add three with Grim Monolith, use one of it to Mana Vault. Yeah, it seems reasonable. We get to queue up Mystic Snake next turn. Won't have to pay for this because it's dead. I think we just have to do that. Uh, Triple Bounce Confluence seems pretty bad. What are you gonna do? Bounce three one ones or their mirror battle sphere so they can just replay it? That seems rough. <laughs> Agreed. I mean, if we're just naming the things we can potentially do, we could have also uh, cast Terminate on a one one. We could have Ashiok for negative four and gotten Lodestone Golem. Lots of things we can do. Uh, we don't have Metamorph. We can Metamorph next turn, but... I mean, that presumes Ashiok survives, so... I have... I have... I have little faith in that. <sighs> Jesus. Of course you're one... Of course you top deck cast down. Why wouldn't you? Yep, that'll do. Alright. Good times, good times. Can't can't beat a top deck cast down, unfortunately. I mean, we also drew like what 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 turn was that even? Like I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, first turn, second, third, fourth, fifth turn. Oh, you missed the hand drop. Less than ideal. Feels like we missed the land drop every game. Uh, this thing's actually fine if we can find one black source, which I think is reasonable to assume. This is definitely a greedy deck, and uh, I don't think it's one of our better decks, but it's got fun cards in it, and it's my birthday, so I don't even care. Long birthday hair, don't care. Well, we got a Vraska now. It was turn six, so we missed two land drops. Brutal. Oh yeah, we lost round. We lost game one, so we'd be on the play, and they had five lands. So yeah, it should have been turn six at least. So yeah, missing two land drops definitely not fun. Whatever name doesn't matter. Here are some bits for the BD. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate the birthday bits. Oh, that was a good draw. Um, we can just use that next turn and play something like a Temple Garden here. Yeah, that seems good. All right. Here comes opposition. You ready? Never don't have it. Sure. You're a wizard, Harry. 
Freedom Guard, hey Frank, big fan, was finally able to sub. Wanted to thank you for your magic content. You were a big contributor to making magic fun for me. Way back when Inner Star first came, you played Gilded Grixis. That deck was great. Thank you so much, Freedom Cobra. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support, buddy. Uh, nope. Just gonna pass. There needs to be a The Universe is a Simulation emote. I have not made one yet, but it's definitely, it's been in the queue for a while. I keep forgetting. Um, the Universe is unfortunately a simulation far too frequently for my tastes. Do you like playing Magic the Gathering? Well, that's too bad. But how do you fit in? Let's find out what this is. Um... Oh god, this is too much to take in, I think. I'm gonna have to look at this. I'm gonna have to look at this a little more detailed. A little more a little more attention. What are the odds they play one creature? Low. There's a land. Tapped, okay. Okay, they only got two dudes. It's okay. We only It's okay. It's okay, it's just a little opposition. It's still good. It's still good. Sure, brah. We're having a good time. Having a good time. Watching my opponent play Magic the Gathering. Watching you play Magic the Gathering. Leonard 519 thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Eight months in a row. First world rough times are real. Don't, don't diminish your rough times. A true fan would let me play magic. Matthew Ward, birthday submission with Mana Rock Ramp. Take all the Mana Rocks first. You may also pick bombs that cost at least six mana first. X spells. Oh, this is nice. Matthew Ori, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I got to write this one. God, we have like 10 stipulations in the queue. You guys are killing these, these stipperinos. All right, hold on. Post you there. Copy you there. Go here, do a thing. Oh, a Trigon Predator, how nice. Matthew Ori. All right, we did it. The <laughs> Quacker 2000, he just big fanned you. Oh, hey man, big fan. Uh, thanks. You're not letting me play magic, but okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, nice. That's great. Yeah. That's, uh, no land drop? Turn five. This is where we miss our land drop, so. Oh, we got lucky. Look at that. Would you look at that? Can't tap all my lands down if I play one land a turn and you play one creature a turn. It's okay, guys. I have a Vraska in hand. There's no way we can lose, right? Sure. All right. Our opponent... It's funny because our opponent didn't actually do anything. They just literally stopped me from doing anything. So, that's cool. I had a good time. Frexian Revoker, you can come in. I'm having fun. That's Mark David Chapman saying big fan. Hey, you're, you're John Lennon. Big fan. Oh, this isn't going to end well. Oh, that was an on-point Mark David Chapman reference, though. Dang, that is crazy. I'm impressed. All right. Uh, I don't know what to do here. So I think we're just going to bring in... Actually, Kite Cell Freebooter could be pretty good. Sword of Feast and Famine, also probably pretty good. I want to take out the big boys, unfortunately. And probably Mana Vault. I will play first. Sand seems good. We get to kill their things, and that's all I want to do. 
All I want to do is kill your things. I got a feeling I can do all that. Also, we have Vindicate for their opposition, which is nice. I should be like, you know, it's my birthday, right? You really want to opposition a man on his birthday? Oh, or a fellow, say? Well then. I know your kind. They belong in the trash can. Peace out, Rafellos. Oh, they didn't even they missed the second land drop. That's cool. <laughs> See you later, buddy. I hope today. Project X, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. God, where's it was always Jitte when you need it? When they got a bunch of Wow, that was that was rude. All I want to do is Necrotal, and I got a feeling I'm going to kill it all. So this basically, these matches were, uh, this was not a stipulation. This was just me drafting whatever I wanted. Um, So these matches have basically been like, let's not let our opponent play anything. Oh, Temple Garden. That's nice. Or just a blue source to Mystic Snake. Um, I'm going to just mind twist them, though, so that's cool. So long, Hand. Hando. Hando. Hando Calrissian. Uh, I think our odds of getting a, a white source are lower than our odds of getting a blue source. Let's get him. Let's get him. Yep. I just wanted them to sack this first. All I wanna do. Oh, draft cards that help you win. I like that strategy. Mind twist your face. So long your entire hand. Opposition beast within natural order Garrick Wildspeaker. Peace out. Peace out, cool combo cards. Give me that Jitte. <laughs> That's kind of like a Jitte. What can we get here? Sort of Feast and Famine seems like the real deal against them. Um, could actually just get Bone Shredder, kill their Pilgrim. We can get Ashiok. Let's get Ashiok. T. Jesse knows what's up. Ooh, got an Eternal Witness. Oh, that's real good. Yes, please. And that's the end. All right, cool. Cool, dude. I like Olivia Voldaren, but I don't like having to have an excess of red mana. My pro I also like Living Death because we can actually kill all of their guys, but the problem with Living Death is that uh, it does require us to have five mana when they have, like, an opposition, right? 
I kind of like face fetters because you can play it on the stupid uh, idiot opposition. But the problem with opposition is that once it comes down, a lot of times you're not going to respond. You're not going to get a chance to respond to it. They did actually kill. They did the center's deliverance, so we know they have artifacts or artifact removal. I might just want to take the grim monolith out. I do like Phyrexian Revoker on. Um, <coughs> opposition. That is a reasonable play. Is it your birthday? If so, happy birthday. See you in a few months on Back in Civilization. Luke, have a good, uh, have a good whatever it is, buddy. Land tax, so you can keep making land drops. Yeah, well, we have to get white on turn one, which is pretty brutal. Oh, I see. I see. I see your kappa. All right. Let's take it down. Take it down to Chinatown. Leroy Brown. Keep it. Keeping and sneeping. One mana dude, because you have a million of them and you have natural order. I forgot to add simulation must draft gut shot if we... Wow, how dare you. How dare you, Matthew Ori. You think you know a guy. Alright, that's not a Rafelos, which is fine. I got a feeling. What did you draft? This deck right here. The one you're looking at. Oh, they didn't actually use that mana. That's great. They just went straight to straight to combat. Cool beans. Well, that is unfortunate. We can actually go Frexian Metamorph on Cobra, play Island, get a black source. Play Demonic Tutor. It's not terrible, and it also gives us a black source, a future black source for Necrotal next turn. I think that actually might be worthwhile. Until the sun comes down of a Santa Monica Boulevard. One, two, three, four. We'll have six mana next turn if we grab a... Uh, actually, I'm probably just going to grab Jitte here. That seems pretty epic. Here we go. Well, they don't have double blue, so that's good. This is where they go blue, Ancestral Recall. Actually, they didn't use. They chose not to use Lotus Cover's ability. That's pretty good for us. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Probably just playing this, right? Um. Yeah, let's do that. Descender's Deliverance would be real good here. But I don't know why you wouldn't have killed the Boros Signet when you had the chance, because that seems pretty good for us. Or you could have cycled it and done something with your mana, so I have to assume you don't have it, and I'm saying this at a point where it's too late, and these guys are dead. All right, that should seal the deal. You can tell there's always this point where you're like, well, that's probably the game. And I feel like Lotus Cobra with Umazawa's Jitte on it against a deck full of mana dorks is that point. All right. 1-1. One, one. Seems reasonable. I'm going to trade you real quick before I leave for work so I can do any 10 6. Sweet. Cobalt, thank you so much, man. I will... I'll, yeah, let's do it. Ready to go. Let's bring it. Gonna party like it's your birthday. 
Let's just add the guild. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Cobalt, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Hungry Howie Bot, have some birthday flavored crust. Wow, you guys are actually amazing. That's incredible. All right, let's go back to this game. Let's finish it up. Cobalt, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, oh, I like this hand a lot. Turn two monolith, turn three mind twist. Oh, gross. Let's see if this actually works out. I too have a tap land. It's mind twist for five. Just gross. That seems fine. We also have Manglehorn to take care of the Baleful Strix. That's pretty cool. Easier for me to design to take over cash because I'm going to Maryland for a week. Yeah, definitely. I Ticks are awesome because I use them all to play in events. So it all works out. Who cares? Birthday 100 Frank singing show. Crow on his birthday and making me feel old because I know it and I love it bits. You know what I say? Who, who cares, you know? Oh, wow. They just drew more cards. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's all happening. Let's go second black. Mind twist you. I think we're doing it for five here is better than giving you another shot. Done. Don't have force spike, I guess. Oof. Shieldred, Noxious Gear Hulk, Frantic Search Bizarre. All right, so we have to assume you have uh, some sort of reanimation deck going on here. But you only got to keep two cards, so... And if they if they bring something back like shoulder, we just get to go metamorph Manglehorn, so that they have to sacrifice shac sacrifice their shoulder. Gonna party like it's your birthday. Let's do that. Mystic snake. Oh, gifts ungiven. Here we go. Here we go. Under Tuna, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Appreciate it. This is actually fine. They're just going to get Creature and Unburial Rights, I presume. Well, that's actually, that's what you for Constructed. You can probably get Unburial Rights and three Creatures, and just, I'll put the Unburial Rights in your hand. I'll probably put it in the graveyard because you, I don't want you to have it. <laughs> Gonna party like it's your birthday. Um, so there's a planes and a makeshift mannequin. So you can only get back shoulders and gear hulk. Put two cards into their graveyard. So we can put Unburial Rites in your graveyard. And Planes? They have one card in hand. I don't want you drawing three, so Painful Truths is good. Word of birthday bits at birth. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amped. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, I don't want you to have two, two of these. I think it's actually these. We give you Makeshift Mannequin and Planes. That's totally fine. Two cards into their graveyard. You and you. Yeah, that's fine. So now they have mannequin planes. Actually, was this? Do I get to see it here? Cool, cool, cool. Give me something good to eat. Gave me nothing. Him overgrown other thing. Oh, let's make sure we play land here. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. Let's play this guy. All right. Just... 
gonna party like it's your birthday. So they just go planes end of turn, probably makeshift mannequin, I imagine. Happy birthday, spring homeless draft multicolor cards first. That's not, oh god, oh my god. We'll just take it. Shambling vent. Okay, so you can't just end of turn makeshift mannequin. Can we draw Mystic Snake here? That'd be such gas. Frask is f f decent. Oh, f f decent. Do we have a three mana counter spell? I don't think so. Um, they get shouldered back, and shouldered gets back Noxious Gear Hulk, which is pretty scary. I guess we just want something to target shouldered. We have a Terminate in the graveyard, which is pretty good. Why did you remove planes? He's still. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't know why. That's a good question. Uh, that's a valid question. Why we did that? Do, 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 do. Um, we're going to demo here, as as Robert would say. Am, thank you for the more birthday bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, so what we want here is... What we want is like a Mystic Confluence. What we're going to get is probably... Uh, terminate to be able to kill their guy when they get it. Yeah, we'll take a Terminate. We'll play the land. Did we get an Inkwell Vithan? Oh, that's pretty gas. So now they're going to go end of turn shouldered. We're going to actually terminate it so they have to waste our next turn. Unburial rightsing it. Rightsing. <laughs> you got the rightsing it stuff. Yeah, go back into the trash can. So now uh, what we're looking for that what we're looking for to happen is we draw a land. Uh, then we can go Manglehorn, kill this guy, Phyrexian Metamorph, kill, or copy Shieldred, so then we actually get to uh, have them sacrifice their own Shieldred. That is Legol. Alright, so now they play the planes. And the mannequin. Uh, why not Vraska minus? Because we only had five lands, not six. So, that is the reason. Unless you're talking about next turn, in which case, <clears throat> I will definitely consider that as well if we hit a land. But they do have Shambling Vent to be able to activate Shambling Vent and Baleful Strix to kill Vraska. I will sacrifice a creature. I do not have a creature. Um, let's keep exiling. Oh, what do we get? A Leovold and a Shriekma. Ooh. The problem with Metamorph is that we need to get rid of their Baleful Strix. But then they just get it back. They're actually going to get Noxious Gear Hulk. Oh, God. Land here was really what we wanted, but like not getting a land is actually terrible for us. Actually terrible. Because <sighs> they just get back Noxious Gear Hulk, they kill our Shieldred. We can copy a Grim Monolith, but that does not do what we're looking to do. <sighs> Land here was really pivotal. Yeah, they could sacrifice their Shambling event, sure, but I mean, that's going to tap them out for the turn so that they can't do anything else that turn. The problem is, they're going to kill our Ashiok. And then they're going to have a Noxious Gear Hulk on board. I don't want to play any creatures, though, because then they get value out of their Noxious Gear Hulk. So I think we're just passing here. They get no value out of Gear Hulk. We take no damage, but we do lose an Ashiok. 
Uh, the problem with Manglehorn is that if we put like Baleful Strix in the graveyard, then they just they have a target for Noxious Gear Hulk, and they also have a way to get back Baleful Strix next turn. So, uh, we Ashiok doesn't live if we do that because they still have Shambling Vent. You got the right stuff. Ashiok. Yeah, that's fine. We need a second green source, unfortunately. I guess we can actually copy their their gear hulk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. This is three. We can copy Noxious Gear Hulk and then Manglehorn. This is interesting. Copy Gear Hulk, kill Shieldred. Assume you don't have a way to get her back. And then Manglehorn, the Noxious Gear Hulk. That seems really good. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just going to have to use this again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Kill you. Would you like to use this ability? Oh boy, would I. I'll use that one too, definitely. Certainly. All right, that's good. Three cards to three cards. I think our hand is actually stronger, but shoulder's a hell of a card, dude. Oh, they didn't do anything. That's interesting. One, two, three, four. I like actually going Boros Signet untap Grim Monolith this turn. Also, if they want to trade Shambling Vent and Baleful Strix for Noxious Gear Hulk, that is pretty okay with me. Yep. You got the right stuff. Baby. What is this song? Is this New Kids on the Block? You got the right stuff? Is he singing New Kids on the Block? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana, so if we draw Nicol Bolas or Ugin, we can cast both of them, which is just fantastic. That's just fantastic. Grim Model is a hell of a magic card. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, don't use the black. Come on. I'm just going to play a guy here. I think Makeshift Mannequin is the only instant speed reanimation spell. Exhume is a sorcery. Reanimate is a sorcery. Uh, Exhume is also pretty bad because we have Phyrexian Metamorph in the graveyard. Um, Necromancy can be used as an instant, but then the guy dies. Shallow Graves an instant.
We can put them to one next turn. That's pretty cool. Oh. Oof, got him. All right, so the reanimate deck. Reanimate deck. Why did I say it like that? The reanimate deck. Um, living death seems pretty bad. Exhum seems pretty bad. Sort of feast and famine seems okay. Face fetter seems pretty okay, but like if you put it on, you can't put it on Inkwell Leviathan. You can't really put it on Shouldered because it doesn't do anything. Uh, you can potentially put it on. What's the other card? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Probably Kite Sail Freebooter seems pretty good. I'll bring in a Freebooter. Take out the Necrotal. That guy's not killing anything. Um, I still like Mind Twist, even though... Even though it does hit their guys. Maybe? Maybe we take out Mind Twist for, like... I don't know. Maybe they have Recurring Nightmare. I don't know. I don't know, man. Olivia Voldaren seems reasonable. I was trying to rickroll you. Why you know? Well, you didn't actually lead in with me. Here's the link to that song. What song, though? I already know the song. If it was... Whatever. Oh, Bone Shredder's is pretty bad. We'll bring in Olivia if they... Oh, we don't have time. Uh, this hand actually seems pretty good. Right, the song I was singing, but like if I was singing it, I don't need the link to it. I already know the song. If you were like, "Hey man, this sounds like the song you're singing," but I know it's a different. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta bait me, man. You gotta bait me into it. I will keep this hand. That dude's seventy-seven and wise as heck. All right. Oh, I like that. That's old Nicholas Bolas. Old Saint Nick. Oh, that's old Ashy. Da -do 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 -do. Da -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, they're gonna go and tomb reanimate now. Here we go. They didn't do that, which is good for us. Uh oh, they're gonna go buried alive. Here we go. This Bone Shredder in our hand is pretty brutal. I always forget the ones that are like, only kills non-black creatures. We could have actually tapped this to play around Force Spike, which was pretty bad. Oh, a Leovold. And a Charter Course and a Demir Signet deal. I think getting Ashok online is a little stronger than Hypnotic Spectre at this point, just because also Hypnotic Spectre help, might help their plan by putting things in their graveyard. Hey, Frank, I found this song I think you would like. Okay, definitely not Rickroll.com. Let me check it out. Oh, it's actually not. It's actually literally an unowned website. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I thought it was going to be. You guys know what I thought it was going to be, because you probably thought it was going to be that too, but it wasn't that. It was literally nothing. That's really weird. I feel like that website would be... Oh, a Mox Emerald. Well then. Things are all happening, aren't they? I 
I'm going to keep exiling. I don't think Leovold's really where I want to be. If we can hit, like, shoulder it. Oh, Painful Truth Plains Forest. Okay. Um, one, two, three. Spectre, and we'll play Temple Garden here. So if they draw three, they go to they go they go to five and they go to two. Yeah, I feel like we're just dead here. Not dead, but oh, they only discarded Inkle Leviathan. Inkle Leviathan is probably one of the 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 lesser innocuous creatures they can discard. That's actually okay, but it kills Ashiok, which is pretty sad. Maybe we should have just got the Leovold value off of him. Actually, they have Bizarre in play. We definitely should have played Leovold. That would have been backbreaking if we... Yeah, that would have been really good. I don't... That was a misplay. That's probably going to cost us the game, unfortunately. If we go Leovold and they try to activate Bizarre, they're just literally discarding their entire hand, which is pretty insane. I did not do the math there. I don't know if they would have... I don't know if they would have discarded, but... They could have also responded to the the Ashiok activation with Bizarre, so that's not actually a foregone conclusion. No other creatures in the graveyard, which is nice. And zero cards in hand. Oh, man. Stank. Shroud is kind of scary because we can't actually target this thing, but if we get something like a... You know... Um, Crown the Crazy, thank you for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're at seven next turn. Real close. I mean, the problem the problem is that we wanted to take up Ash Shock because seven's kind of the sweet spot. It gets things like Noxious Gear Hulk. It gets Shieldred. It gets a Leshnorn if it's there. So if we if we take it up one more time and hit any of those things. Uh, it's very powerful for us, but the problem is Inkwell Leviathan is now a two-turn clock. And we cannot block Island Walk Trample. Tark Ritual, sure. We do get to Nicol Bolas next turn, and we get to uh, not do much. I'm not sure what our answers are here. But Pentad Prism is... We go to six. We're basically dead on board. Ugh, that's gross. Phyrexian Metamorph is not an answer. I don't actually know if we have any answers here. If we have Life Gain, uh, Jitte is an answer. Demonic Tutor for Jitte is an answer. Mind twist, not an answer. Uh huh. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Makeshift mana on an island, an equal Leviathan is pretty strong. Huh. Well, hmm. that is a thing. All right. Next card's going to be Jitte, so that's going to be funny. Ready? <laughs> Demonic Tutor for Jitte. Next card would have... Uh, wouldn't have won us the game, but it would have actually put us in the game. So, as usual, next card does it. Uh, let's take out Bone Shredder, because that's a, it's a pretty terrible card. And I think Revoker on Bazaar is pretty strong. All right, give it a go, I guess. Yeah, I think the Leo, Leovold play would have been pretty epic, but, uh, you know, we're also banking on the fact that they don't activate in response. Like, if we go negative three on on Bizarre, the odds that they see it is pretty high, but, you know, if they don't, it's just... It's pretty insane. Uh, Jit would have gained us four life and put us up to ten. So it would have saved us a hit. 
they would have went down to five life. Jitte would have put us up to ten. We could have also gone to eight with Jitte, taken seven, and then just killed them with the plus two, plus two on the crackback, which would have been six damage. And they would have been at five. So yeah, Jitte would have been exactly perfect. Exactly perfect, as they say. Oh, it's non-land. You're right. Eh, it's not great then. I always get Revoker and Pithing Needle confused because they're pretty complicated cards. Whatever. Is this hand good? This hand's actually probably decent. I mean, if we search for... If we hit lands, it's... We're good times. The problem with the sword is that we don't actually want to put cards in their graveyard. We don't actually like... Unless we're putting all of them in the graveyard, uh, we don't want to give them the choice of discarding a card for free. Like, they're going to they're gonna put Shouldred in the graveyard. They're going to put Inkwell Leviathan in the graveyard. I want to be able to mind twist them and make them discard all the cards uh, rather than giving them the option to discard some of the cards. This hand has actually very, worked out very well. I mean, we can actually Demonic Tutor for something like Grim Monolith here and be one mana shy of Nicol Bolas. Oh, Leovold. I'm going to steal that dude for sure. Um, so you do get to draw a card, but uh, then I get to keep Leovold, so that's cool. Oh, that's just great. Draw a free card. Owned by your majesty. Oh, that's a that's a name. And we did miss a land. Next time we can go Demonic Tutor into Umuz. That was Jitte. That's pretty cool. If we draw a land, we can just keep up Mystic Confluence, which is actually pretty strong. Leovold is probably my favorite card that I cannot play with regularly, unfortunately, because I don't play Legacy and I don't play Vintage in real life. But uh, still, in my opinion, one of the coolest Magic cards there is. This is where you draw a land, play a land, untap your three lands, makeshift mannequin shoulder it, and then we get rid of Leovold. That's unfortunate. Wait, they didn't get to draw from this, right? They just discarded? That's great. They literally just actually frantic search to discard two cards. Well, that's pretty cool. Painful Truths, disc they oh my god, again, they drew no cards. <laughs> oh, the Leovold action is already starting with Frantic Search into Painful Truths. Wow. The value is so real right now. We can actually go to Monarch Tutor for a green source Manglehorn and then just attack with Leovold. Wow, that was pretty solid. We could also Jason bounce the Baleful Strix because they can't replay it really. I just want to get to do it. Would have loved to actually keep Mystic Confluence up because I feel like we're really far ahead right now, but. I don't really want Noxious Gear Hulk targeting Leovold, but then again, we just draw the card. I'm pretty sure we just play a Jace here. It's 
So we attack. They go to 13. If we can get rid of Baleful Strix. I think we just want to hit a land here. I think that's more important than bouncing their guy. And we definitely hit a land here. And that's pretty cool. Um, let's put Nicol Bolas and Temple Garden on top. And we can go Hissing Quagmire. Yeah, definitely not walking this guy into the Baleful Strix. That seems bad. That seems bad. Oh, no attack on Jace? Oh boy, one, two, three, four, five. This is six. Now we get to queue up Mystic Confluence? Oh. Just the best. I uh, like a terminate. <clears throat> Do we want to get rid of any of these cards? Not really. So we're actually going to put Misty and Nicol Bolas on top of that. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just play Tumble Garden. Dude who ate my car. How many magic players does it take to change the light bulb? Want to change it and tell him how he could have done it two turns earlier. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. That is hilarious. Uh, you know you could have done that last turn, right? <laughs> you had the meta available. Well, sure, but nobody wants to do that. All right. Uh, whenever. Oh, whenever you are permanent, they're targeting us with gifts ungiven. Such gas. I will use Leovold ability, and we'll draw the nickel bolus. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're not there yet. Do we just counter draw draw like? Do you have two cards in hand? One of them is not a reanimation spell, otherwise you would have Noxious Gear Hulked. I'm going to Mystic Confluence this. Let's counter Bounce and draw. Counter you, Bounce you, and draw. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Misty Rainforest? One time Misty Rainforest! We're bouncing the Baleful Strix to force them to use mana because if we have Leovold in play, they're not going to actually be able to draw the card. So, if they want to spend their turn replaying Baleful Strix for no value, that's completely fine. Yep, seems good. No value. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we can draw three. Put two, put two crappy cards back. Uh, we got black, black, blue, red. We have all the colors for Nickel Bolas. Next turn is Nickel Bolas. This game is pretty much over, I think. What land are we going to get? Probably just another Swamp. So we'll put back Steam Vents and Rainforest. We'll play Marsh Flats. Let's freebooter. Let's see what you got here. Shriek Maw, Dark Ritual, Buried Alive. Well, I guess we're taking the Buried Alive. Let's crack this to get rid of those other lands. Those other lands. Get you, and now we can actually go one, two, three. Uh, nope, don't want to do it like that. Do you use instead? Manglehorn, we get to keep up Terminate. That seems pretty good. But we're probably actually going to put Jitte on it instead. So in your hand is Dark Ritual Shriek Maw. On the bright side, you can kill the Manglehorn, but we can then kill your Shriek Maw. So. And next turn we get to play Nicol Bolas and Orugan, so... We can tell your opponent not to concede until you can cruel ultimate and reverse cruel ultimate in the same turn. That would be gas. Uh, I wouldn't say it's time to start plus twoing Jace right now because we have so many things to do. Matthew Ori, have you ever drawn three cards that Jason put two back? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. And 
and that does it. That was pretty sweet. You guys have been awesome tonight. Thank you so much for uh, for your, for those on Twitch. I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. But for those on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. I'm providing new content every week on Patreon uh, for the low low price of. One dollar a month, which is nothing. It also helps support the stream and the YouTube channel if you enjoy those. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time.